morning! Hello and welcome to our daily vlog of life on our beef and animal farm here in South Yorkshire. And look at this, not even a cloud in, well, maybe a little cloud there in the sky. Um, my dad just took some cattle and yeah, the last full day at the farm for me for a, a fair bit. Gonna be here in the morning though, don't worry. Yeah, this I got Andy letting me in today. This Connor must be on the straw blower. Yeah, so that's Connor just backing out of the big shed. Not easy on your sort of second day of doing the job proper. The teacher, aka Andy, just watching by. Good stuff. Morning, Coddy! <laughs> it's on it. <laughs> he needs a knife, does the lad. <laughs> yeah, it's looking one hell of a morning. I've been feeding round, Andy's been doing this mix. It's just spilling a little bit on the floor, but we like to fill it full. I think we've got Andy in the driving seat now. Just walking back to the TM because I've put the meal out and we'll uh, get the rest of the cows fed. So all these fellas are coming up eating now. You're enjoying it guys? Yup. Andy's on the nine meter, just getting some hay. It's coffee time. Just gonna put the spreader bale on now. Straw some more up. Just on using, oh, bunged it up. Spreader bale. She's going, she's going. Oh, it's a beast, this machine. It does the job well. Andy's getting the fertilizer out of the rapid response vehicle. We'll just get the maize seed as well. Pallet ready. Andy's on now, just spraying up this. Power her up with oil, keeping it fresh. After Connor did a good job yesterday cleaning it, eh? Fantastic. A little bit later in the week, I'm going to be taking this down, or Becky's going to be taking this down to Centre Parks. So, we're just having to do a hoovering job and a clean-up job. You see all this? This is our bin with Ad Blue. Because we put the cans in the car, rather than putting them in this bit, the load bay. And so we're going to have a bit of a nightmare cleaning that up, I think. Andy's getting on well with this. Enjoying it, Andy? It's quite therapeutic, yeah? It's alright, the black and the red right now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And it's one way to get rid of his old oil. <laughs> so I've just washed the sprayer out. Now we're just disconnecting. So that these guys have got a spare tractor. I think what we're going to do is um, get the cattle trailer on take it back down and swap it for a post knocker and um, Andy and Connor then over the next couple of days can uh, get on doing some fencing. That's it, tractor on trailer, job's a good one so we can take that back and then we're going to pick a post knocker up um, on our return journey. Well, I've just had my dinner um, and now I'm going to jump in the Hilux and take it to Asher's brother's garage and uh, just make sure they give you a check over and make sure it's right for Becky going down centre parks in it. Yeah, a and &E Motors business. Leave it with them and they will have a check round of it and sort the job out. Oh, I've just had my haircut business. Turkish barbers in our local village have sorted me right out. Cheating on my hairdresser, Andy. I know. You don't have that problem, do you? No. <laughs> Mixed daughter usually does my hair, but um, I couldn't be here yesterday, so I've had to go to Turkish Barbers, but they've done it really. Like, yeah, I think they've done a fantastic job. Well done. The odd fellows, that's who've done it. Let's get back in with the car. It's still a beautiful day here. Been adapting the mill, putting some greedy boards on it. Is that going to sort it then? Because <laughs> the, the bucket's too wide. We did have issues with the mill spilling 
because the bucket's a bit wide, but now, fingers crossed, should be all right. Right, I've just jumped on the 6.9 anyway, and we are going to take the cattle trailer back, pick up the post knocker. Here we are at RSPB Oldmore. People want a little day out down here. They've uh, got a cafe and nice walks around the lakes and the marshland here. Also, if you are very, very lucky, you might see some of our cows in here. If anybody wants to see what you can do here, then press the pause button. Just speaking to the guy that's down here at um, RSPB Oldmore. I thought we'll find out if there's anything special around. So for you bird watchers out there, there is a red, oh, I forgot already, neck duck. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's quite, uh, how, could, how could I not rem remember that? A red neck duck, eh? Um, yeah, it's native to America and it is here around our RSPB Old Mart, around here. So um, if you want to come here and try and spot it and find it, then um, yeah. Find it out, nice day out. Since March as well, so it's not like here today, gone tomorrow. It's like, it, it, it likes its home in South Yorkshire better than America for some reason. So, um, yeah, there you go. Could that be it there? No, oh, maybe not. Back in the yard now, with the post knocker on. I've got the boost out, the Cabelco, because when I was digging the other day for the, for, for the wire, I forgot to leave the hole open. We're gonna get a mole borer or whatever they're called. Put in that hole, bore, 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 to the other side of the road so we're not gonna dig it up. I think it's coming tomorrow to do it, which is a bit disappointing because I wanted to actually see that process working. So there's, yeah, I think it's just bores it through, just mole bore or something they're called. They're probably not called that at all, but you know, whatever. It should just pop out at this side here. And then we've got um, the electric for the other side of the electric gate. Business. I love that machine. It's holes and needs rebushing and loads of work on. Well, not loads of work on it, but the engine and everything, the hydraulics absolutely sound. The uh, the bushes and this beeping and everything being in Japanese um, is what brings it down. Just all adds to the character of the machine. It's got, it's got a history this thing. All the bumps and scrapes on it. Feels like it's gonna rain here. I'm not looking forward to that because I've only got my t-shirt on. But um, looks like Andy and Connor must be doing a bit of feeding around now, which is good. Sorted the couplings out on this because it was a little bit different to uh, how we have it for plugging into the back of the tractor. Connor's just dropping it down and knocking it off. Right, Connor is um, just spinning that round, but we're gonna do a mix first. Initially, we were gonna put it away, but we're thinking for Andy and Connor's easy life in the morning, they're gonna get a mix done now to get them, uh, yeah, get them started well. He's fetching meal in and he's about to tip it into the mixer, but before he does, let's get mixer mentions out of the way. So it's 4,830 pounds for a free for your chair ambulance. And it is a happy birthday to Dan Bradshaw, who's 32, and that's from Lexi and Tina. Thank you so much for yeah, supporting the else, guys. Right, Andy, hit it, <laughs> put it in. <laughs> Says he didn't want to get it in my hair. Mushka, there it goes. The last one for today. Everything else is packed away, we just need to tip that off. Connor says he wants to see how we tip the mix off, so we're uh, gonna show him how it's done. So we've got horsepower now, aren't we? Three forks to do this one job of here. <laughs> the two forks now, because uh, one, 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 one of them's turned into a cameraman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. So all these guys here, Angus, check them out, new win. Been vaccinated today, aren't they, Andy? Yeah. Got that sorted. Um, and I am going tomorrow, some similar black cattle, Wagyu. So tomorrow's the day when we go down to Warrendale Wagyu. Um, actually, we don't see any cattle tomorrow. 
but we'll just see him on screen in a bit of a conference seminar thing. And then the day after, we'll look around somebody's farm and see them um, in the flesh, so, so to speak. Is that right, Andy? Yeah. Couldn't, get really, couldn't really get my words out then, but I thought in the flesh sounded right. And um, yeah, then hopefully at some point we get some waggle. One or two people said they were wild, but I think one, the one that we had that time, it was a bit soft, weren't it? Yeah. Remember, I think we got it from home first. It yeah. was a big thing. Just looked like a big Frisian Angus. Right, so we'll see. See what it's all about. Check it out tomorrow. Coming up with waggle related punchlines. Go on, Andy, hit us with it. A wowzer, I like it. Wowzer is a good word. I reckon business should be like. It's business has been for last year, hasn't it? Now it's wowzer. And he's just showing Connor how we go about tipping the mix off. Teacher Andy. So I just brought in Andy's tractor. That means everything is in the shed. So Andy's lesson, how did it go, Connor? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> I like it. It was a bit dark in there, wasn't it? And the control panel was a bit dark. <laughs> The new teacher, Andy. Hey? Yes. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it from us uh, today. So um, if you've liked it, press the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll s maybe see you tomorrow. I might. might well, yeah, I might, might yeah, just might like. Yeah. I might just get the camera out in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're going quite early to get down to Telford. Um, and yeah, watch watch the waggle tomorrow. Okay. Right. Business. Bye, guys. Waving, Connor. You got a wave. <laughs> Bye.